what is the difference between country and nation? Have you thought about it? Country and nation, they do not mean the same thing. So there's a country and there's a nation. And a lot of times you find out that in so many countries, you will find multiple nations in a country. A country is a political arrangement. A nation is a natural arrangement. So what is the name of your country? And what is the name of your nation? Because every nation has a name. Every country has a name. So hardly any nation that does not have a name. And in fact, some countries are named through a concoction of the different nations making up that country, which means a country is a political arrangement. So let's leave that all right there like, let's just say it's equation one. Let us go to equation two. I'm not going to say if you are a national because you are a national somewhere. What is your nationality? You know, a lot of times people also make the mistake of uh, um, associating nationality um, with ethnicity. All these things have different meanings. They are so varied that people need to really know what they are saying. When you pronounce a word, when it comes to topics like this, you have to be sure the word you are using and to convey the meaning you intend. So what is the name of your country and what is the name of your nation? You are a national, no doubt. Some people believe in their country more than they believe in their nation. And others believe in their nation more than they believe in their country. That is where patriotism comes in. When nationalists emerge, they talk about their nation. They uphold their nation. They want to build their nation. When anyone begins to counter the nationalists, then you will know that that individual is supporting country over nation. People have to understand these things and make sure that you know your nation and you know your country so you know the role your nation is playing in the existence of that political arrangement called country. You also want to know what gave rise to the name your country bears? Match it up against the name of your nation to see if there is a connection between the name of your country and the name of your nation. So when some individuals are patriotic, you want to see where their patriotism lies because Patriotism has a slant. Is it slanted to or towards the nation? Or is it slanted towards the country? Because these things show what's happening in your head. That is especially for those who think. Because we have found out that some people do not think. Some individuals do not use their brains they do not think. In that case, they will not know when they want to say country versus when they want to say nation. They don't even know the difference between country and nation. So when you see such people like you're holding conversation with them, do not argue. If you are among those who think, those who use their brains, 
then you must know not to argue with an individual who does not know the difference between nation and country. For me, I believe in nationalism. I do. And if you see a nationalist speaking in favor of his nation and you are angry at that nationalist, take a good look at yourself. You are not patriotic. You are myopic. You are one-sided in thinking. Of course, I know that some individuals think from the left side of their brains, while others think from the right side of their brains. So you better find out which side of your brain is working. You better find out because this is real. If, you're, if the right side of your brain is the one you use, you will be behaving and talking and acting in a certain way versus a person who thinks and uses the left side of his or her brain to process events happening around him or her. So when you see people talking about uh, their country or their nation, listen very well. You will know if you are given to the use of left or right of the brain, you will see. You will see which side of that person's brain is working. Sometimes we say that somebody is brain dead. You know, sometimes we also know that somebody is dead on one side of his or her brain, which means half brain dead. You know, I'm using these things to try to portray the, 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 the extent to which we should pay attention to nationalism and what do you call it? There's so many things. We have nationalism, we have ethnicity, we have tribalism, we have nepotism, we have uh, uh, um, so many things that we do have in that, uh, uh, in, uh, within that domain. So your nation should be important to you because charity, they say, begins at home. You start from nation. If you skip nation and you are talking about country, it means that you don't even know anything about grassroots. Nation is of grassroots. Country is a mathematical computation. Of course, um, when I say mathematical, yeah, it's philosophical also. You know, mathematics is part of philosophy. If you want us to go into that, but we're not going to, we're not going to go into that today. But mathematics is part of philosophy. So country is the outcome of mathematics. It is a philosophical angle through which political calculations are made. They have to be calculated. What percentage does your nation contribute to the part called country? What percentage? You know, a lot of times we get hoodwinked by those who want to use religion to compute. But know that religion has no part at all in anything whatsoever. There's nothing religion can bring. As far as I'm concerned, really, religion is nothing. Rather, what is something to me is called spirituality. How spiritual are you? And when you go on that spiritual, in the realm of spirituality, you will see that Africans are by birth spiritual. Spiritual. So, when we talk about Religion, religion is something that was delivered to you. You see, you didn't come to this world with religion. Someone taught you religion. All right. Somebody conveyed religion to you. 
And before you knew it, they 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 created um what they call religious studies. Of course, I know about it. I took courses in religious studies, so I know what it is. So religious studies are different from spirituality studies. So that's why there's something called religiosity versus spirituality. So when we talk about nationhood, you begin to see spirituality and religiosity showing up because some individuals use religion to separate people within the country. So they say religion to people on both sides, whether it's the nationalists and the country believers. They sow religion as a, as a seed. So some people who are nationalists will buy into a particular religion. And individuals who believe in a country, some of them will buy into that same religion. So by the time you know it, you create a market, a catchment area, where individuals who believe in that religion no longer knows anything about their nation versus their country. The only thing, the only thing they now know is their religion. Then you can use that religion to cow them, browbeat them, nudge them, prop them, and you know, do whatever, maneuver them, manipulate them, and you know, emasculate them. Religion. But when you remember that as an African, you are by birth spiritual, you go back to your spirituality. You know, sometimes again, people misunderstand this things when I say you are spiritual. You know, as an African, some people will begin to look in so many different ways. So let me give a little context. The popular belief when it comes to that domain is Jesus Christ. So some people believe that Jesus Christ is a creation of man. Some people believe that Jesus Christ is a creation of God. And those who use religion to separate us will be busy at it, making sure that we stand where they want us to stand so that we will always be divided. So when I say spirituality, I mean that we were there before someone came with the story of Jesus Christ to tell us. Because we know that, yes, Jesus Christ existed, and his name was not Jesus Christ. His name was Yeshua, Hamashiach. That was his name. So we were there right from that time until someone came with the story of Jesus Christ and sold it to us, sold us pictures and paintings and everything that didn't exist in the days of Yeshua. So the point I'm making here is about nationalism and your nation is important to you. You have to start from A before you can count or read up to Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, B, D. And so on. <laughs> I don't know how to get that right now. A B B D E, thinking Z Z Z, and so on. You have to begin from A B B D. You have to begin from A B C D, so that you will know. So to begin from that point, you have to think about your nation before you begin to understand the country. So you you know what the country is made of and know your role as a national and a nationalist before you begin to castigate those who are nationalists even in the even in the uh, uh, european uh, uh, world they have people they call white nationalists because they are all supposed to be white anyway but you will see a token of whites who do not believe in nationalism so those ones called the nationalism uh, 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 advocates white nationalists. And then the blacks call them also white nationalists. And so when you see a white person, immediately you label of them 
white nationalists while some whites are not nationalists so but you have to know that when you begin to um castigate or dislike nationalists you have to think and know that you are a national somewhere so you better be a nationalist where you are a national what about country countries are arrangements that can be rearranged anywhere in the world countries are arrangements they can be rearranged by the nationals who contribute percentages to the part called country are you patriotic to your nation you better be patriotic love your nation and then that love will spill over to country don't just go to love country and hate your nation that is called self-hate love your nation and then that love will spill over to country so that is the way you should go otherwise there will always be conflict in that geography called country because some nationals don't know that they are nationals and so they're advocating the rights of country which is a political arrangement without because they don't know they need to take classes they need to learn need to listen to those who know so they begin to find their way back to their roots and recognize their nationhood love their nation advocate for their nation become nationalists and then they'll begin to see what they contribute to the part called country <laughs> you know so that's just the easy way to go and that makes life easier for everyone who is part of that concoction